Bile has two primary functions. It raises the pH of the acidic food that has just left the stomach and it emulsifies fat. The stomach contains hydrochloric acid and eventually the food that is being digested there needs to move on to the small intestine. The problem is the small intestine is not adapted for holding acid, so the acid needs to be neutralized. Bile is alkaline, so when food enters the small intestine, the gallbladder releases the bile. The bile travels through the bile duct and mixes with the partially digested food from the stomach. Lipases, carbohydrates and certain proteases have an optimum pH of 7 to 8, so the bile generates the favourable conditions in the small intestine. Bile also emulsifies fat. Emulsification describes how the bile emulsifies large droplets of fat into small droplets of fat. This increases the available surface area for lipase enzymic action. Fat digestion is faster when bile is present. This experiment shows how emulsification can decrease the time it takes for fat to be digested by using milk, sodium carbonate, a pH indicator called phenolphthalein, and washing up liquid. Washing up liquid contains surfactants which emulsify the fat in the milk and this will mimic what bile does. We will have two test tubes that each contain milk, sodium carbonate to make it alkaline, the phenolphthalein indicator, but only one test tube will contain washing up liquid. Phenolphthalein turns pink in an alkaline solution and will go colourless when in neutral to acidic conditions. When we add lipase to both test tubes and observe which one will go colourless first, we should notice that the test tube that has washing up liquid goes colourless first, followed by the second test tube without washing up liquid. The reason we see a colour change at all is because lipase is breaking down the fats into fatty acids and glycerol. The fatty acids that are produced are making the solution more acidic. The reason the test tube with washing up liquid changes colour first is because the washing up liquid has emulsified the large fat droplets into smaller fat droplets which increases the available surface area for lipase action. In the next lesson we will look at how visking tubing is used as a model for absorption in the small intestine.